This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Okay, so uh, Meek Mill and academics, yeah, they went at it on Clubhouse the other night and blah, 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 blah. We already know about all that. Well, Ebro and uh, Peter Rosenberg reacted to that this morning for someone who nobody knows. Now, Peter Rosenberg said nobody knows who academics is, and that's why we don't talk about him on the radio. You guys talk about him every couple months. They bait academics into these little beefs to like attract attention to their YouTube page. I'm just being honest, okay? Peter Rosenberg is a DJ and he's a good DJ. Okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like say he's not a good DJ. He's got talent. Okay. He knows his hip hop stuff. He knows his hip hop history. He knows what to play for DJing. Ebro, he worked his way up in radio and became the program director and then started a morning show. Okay. He has a talent in talking, obviously, because Apple gave him a deal, okay? Academics has talent, too. He was shut. All the doors were shut on him. I can relate to this. This happened to me when I was trying to do music videos, okay? This happened to me when I was coming out of college. I wasn't even done. I left college to do this, okay? Academics, the doors were shut on him, and he went to, he he said he was trying to do, I'll play this stuff in the end, but he was trying to do, um, like, interviews and stuff. Uh, he did a Charlemagne one. Then Ebro denied him an interview because they had their little issue going on, Ebro and Charlemagne. And then Academics took to YouTube and got it how he had to get it. Now, did he go a little too far with the Chirac stuff? Yes, okay? He admits that, okay? And then he built his way up and he became, he took what we did with the DVD wave and what we did with World Star, right? And he took it to YouTube and he started reporting that. And you know what? When I saw that, I was like, this is interesting. This is different. It's a little bit different. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of a different rendition. Things evolve, okay? <laughs> Things evolve. He was kind of doing like a rumor report, but on the on YouTube every day. And it was getting a lot of clicks. That's a talent. I'm sorry. When you find a way to make it like that and he's consistent, that's talent, man. He's consistent every day. Okay? I'm, I'm going to defend somebody. I, I'm not going at anybody. I think that Ebro and, and Peter Rosenberg right now, they look salty. I'm going to be honest. They look salty because academics is winning. A lot of people are coming at him now, too, because he just left Complex. You can say what you want, but he, he's leaving Complex. People think this is a good time to go at him. Okay? That's not... The, the Peter Rosenberg and Ebro have been on the radio too long, and people don't even listen to Hot 97 that much anymore. Okay? They just don't. Okay? But there's still a place for it. It's just like things get watered down, period. I'm not saying they're not popping. I'm just saying things get watered down and they seem a little bit salty. You know, Peter Rosenberg was talking about putting pause on academics because academics responded to their rant today where they were calling him a talentless hack and why. And then Ebro was in the clubhouse session listening to academics get roasted and have Meek Mill, Meek Mill and him going back and forth. Sounds like academics is pretty relevant to me. They said, and then Peter Roseberg took to his Instagram and said, yo, I'm going to address this on here because I can't address this on the radio because most of our fans don't know who Academics is. You'd be surprised. <laughs> You'd be surprised, okay? People know who he is. He's been doing this consistently for six years now. As, as far as I know, six years, okay? It's a long time to be consistent. Most people come and go. Six years. When I was starting out with music videos, it was hard to get on. Nobody wanted to give me a chance. And I just had to lie my way in and get in, pretend I could do music videos, pretend I worked for MTV to get interviews and stuff. And I worked my way up. You got to do what you got to do. I'm sure Peter Roseberg did a lot of stuff to get on Hot 97. It's not easy. I'm sure Ebro did a lot of stuff to work his way up to program director. So you can't hate on academics for making it. They have a personal thing with academics. I think it was like he had, he's had problems with so many people at this point, academics that I can't pinpoint what person it was, but there was a point where they were defending somebody against him. I can't remember because it was so many things, but they talk about him a lot. 
on their morning show whenever something happens. So that sounds pretty relevant to me. Then Peter Rosenberg's talking about he wants to put paws on academics and calling. He was calling academics out of shape. And I'm not in the best shape myself. So but it's like, dude, you're not in shape either. I would never call someone out of shape and make fun of them. If I wasn't in shape, I'm going to be honest. And he kept calling. Yeah, he he, make, he was making fun of him for being a video gamer. Uh, excuse me, video gamers are making millions of dollars. You ever heard of Ninja? Have you ever heard of Phase? Video gamers are winning, dude. People are out of touch, man. You can get a. I I I, I would never even make fun of an Instagram model. Some of them make more money than anybody. Okay, like. There's just a lot of ways to get money now. I think Peter Rosenberg has a couple chips on his shoulder. He's doing fine. He's on WWE, uh, yeah, whatever he's on. I, I'm not into that world, but he's on he's on WWE or whatever it is. And he does Hot 97, he DJ. He has a million things going on. I think he's a sportscaster too on something else. I, he does a lot of stuff. He's successful. Ebro is successful. Academics is successful. Jeez. These people. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Then Ebro says, this guy, academics, can't go outside. Relax with the money talk. You're a prisoner to the game. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but it's like, come on. Then Peter Rosenberg says, academics, tough guy voice is the best. But Peter Rosenberg has a tough guy voice, too. He's talking real tough with politics and this. I mean, it's crazy, man. People have lost their minds this year. I'm telling you, man. I've never seen things this crazy. <laughs> But anyways, salute to all three of them. <laughs> and I'll play the little things at the end. But come on, man. And then they keep talking about Takashi. That was just somebody he that reciprocated. Academics, I understand that. And he's in like, some thing now with Takashi where, you know, he was giving Takashi some uh, promo. Takashi appreciated it. And then, you know, they made a friendship. And then, unfortunately, what happened, happened. He snitched and all this other stuff, but it is what it is, man. Anyways. I... Ebro used to be the place that you needed to go to get relevance in hip hop. That's not being, that's not being the case. Remember when he used to go on these rants like, yo, yo, if, yo, nah, you're not major league, you're minor league, and he used to determine and decide what music actually got a chance to be seen and heard at, at the biggest levels. Radio is irrelevant, and now I do know he has a very important position over at Apple Music, but truth be told, and to let him know, do just earn it, and you know, like, he doesn't have that hold on media anymore, I think he resents me for that, I can't have his feelings, by the way, I see Grand Wizard said that, he said uh, I was paid by powerful people to make 6 9 happen, little boy, stop playing with me, nigga. Just once, I need to let this be heard. I can't do it on the radio. We giving him time on the radio when our listeners don't know who he is does not make sense. But on Instagram, I feel like people know who he is. So let's just spend a minute, and I, I don't really care how many people see it. The words need to be said, <clears throat> um, because the the level of bass in that dude's voice was so crazy to me. Yo, the bass in Academic's voice when he talks about me and Ebro from the comfort of his Twitch chair, the level of bass and yelling in his voice. Rosenberg, you've been doing radio for that long, nigga. I ain't clips a fucking career like that, nigga. I know that YouTube way. Nigga, I could drop a video today on an old ass topic and do more numbers than you got to do the whole week at the big studio talking at Hot 97 shows. Yo, let me tell you guys about when I worked at Complex, the way that dude carried himself in that building. Let me tell you about the level of tit mouse that that dude was in that building. And the way he walked in the hallways. And the, the, the speed walk that that dude does to avoid confrontation in real life. Academics. The in that dude. Okay? I am one of the softest dudes publicly in the history of hip hop. I'm from Chevy Chase, Maryland. I went to Hebrew school. I own it, I own it. I don't work for niggas that you don't own nothing you're on. You work at a radio station, but you don't own. You're doing everything that you don't own. More than, you know what? 
All these niggas who are journalists are looking around like, how is that? Yeah, I look like a rapper. I tell y'all niggas, I tell y'all niggas that now. I do. <laughs> Matter of fact, I know you're not much of a celebrity. You're just like a fat boy on Twitch. I would do a straight up celebrity boxing with you. Let me be clear. Academics, you crush me on the internet. You make more money than me on the internet. Your videos get way more views than me on the internet because you're that flabby and soft. You wrong. That's not true. That's not who I am. You just talked about how rich you are. Hey, hundred and fifty thousand dollars. When I first tried to get on in the game, Evo, I tried to ask him for an interview. You fronted because I was cool with Show Me. I was playing these ass games, playing like girls. Oh, you're friends with him, so I can. I right, cool. I got it out of the mud and I made myself what I gotta talk about on a bright Monday morning while I drink Ciroc on my stream. Or maybe you watch it, you might say, you do my No, I don't know. But, but maybe when you're looking at your paycheck from Hot 97, Rosenberg, and you wonder how to act out all of this, and you're making assumptions on how he got a crib, I was making a salary in two months. I appreciate you guys so much. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. If you guys have a great day today, stay consistent, stay motivated, stay moving forward. Don't let anybody stop you. There's plenty of things to get you down on your day and to make you give up, but you can't give up. You got to keep moving forward no matter what, because if you don't keep moving forward, you're going to stay still or you're going to go backwards. You don't want to lose the momentum. You have put all this hard work in to get forward in life. And you don't want anything to get you off your game. So keep the bad vibes, keep the bad energy away from you and keep all the negativity away from you and just keep focused and moving forward on the goal. A lot of people will always try to test you and bring you down and you got to just shake them off. I appreciate you guys. Stay consistent, stay positive. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.